Hello, this is a car boot sale haul, but before I start the video, um, it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Bestie, join in. Oh, yes, a cat doesn't join in. Happy birthday. You have to join in to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. And I am... Oh, I've got a balloon. I don't think I've ever had a balloon before. Like, not as in... Um, I've had a balloon, obviously, but not like a, a birthday balloon. I'm 40! Yay! My friend um, got me that. We went out for a meal the other night. And I think that's the first time I've had, like, an, a proper balloon like that. Um, and I looked at it and thought, oh, 40. And then I was like, yay, birthday! And I know 40 is quite a big age. Um, it's a milestone, isn't it? But getting older is a privilege. And... Um, yeah, I feel good about being 40. There's no point like thinking, oh, I wish I was younger because um, you can't go back. You can only go forward. And um, life is too short to worry about getting older. So just enjoy the moment. And I did have a thought last night um, and this, I I quite like this. So if you're ever feeling um, like you're getting older and you're not that comfortable with it, just remember that you're never as old as you are no you never got it wrong you're never as young as you are right now so if you ever think oh i wish i was 22 not that you do that in that accent there's always going to be people um who are younger than you there's always going to be people who are older than you so you know when people moan they're like oh i'm 25 and you think you're 25 you're so young there's other people and um, that are older and you say oh i'm 40 you know they'll be it just doesn't matter basically that's all i'm trying to say is um enjoy the now that is all we've all we've got is right now so make sure you enjoy it so this is a car boot sale haul i'm not just come to talk about birthdays and ages and stuff like that um but i am going to be happy being 40 that's basically what i'm trying to say so i've got loads of bargains to show you that i found recently at the indoor car boot sale and i went to i went along i went along with louise um and i've got loads to show you and I was just trying to remember all my prices. And normally I'm really good at remembering prices. However, me and Louise were together and we were a bit distracted. So I roughly know how much most things cost. There's a couple of things I'm like, I don't even remember buying that. I think we were in like, we were chatting and um, talking and stuff. But yeah, loads of, but everything's really cheap anyway. So loads of things to show you. It is my birthday today. I'm filming this on Wednesday, but my actual birthday is today when you're watching this on Friday. Um, and we are off for the weekend with Andy and Louise. So I will be vlogging that as well. And I can't wait. I'm really excited excited about the weekend right so I'm going to start off with my mug of the day and it's one you haven't seen for a while it's a tortoise that's Benny barking outside if you can hear him Benny the dog he's looking for bestie but bestie is here um so this I bought I want to say like a year ago or something a long long time ago and well that's not a long time ago is it it's only last year um and I think I bought this I can't even remember if it was brand new or half price I don't know it's from Asda anyway and it's a little turtle tortoise it's a tortoise isn't it are you a tortoise turtle it says turtle on the bottom and I'm actually drinking a winter spice a Ribena winter spice um hot drink rather than a tea or coffee because it's quite late um when I'm filming this um so yeah this is my mug of the day I do love the um, Ribena Winter Spice. It tastes a little bit like almost like mulled wine, sort of. But it's obviously not having got any wine in it. And I also like hot black currant as well. But we saw Winter Spice the other day, so we thought we'd get it. Um, right, so I'm going to start off with um, some glasses that I found. And I've got four of these. So I saw these on the table. And if you've been watching my videos, the vlogs, and if you follow me on Instagram, um, you might have seen that I've made like a bar area in our house downstairs in the living room. So when I saw these glasses, there's four of them, two, um, two sets of two. They're all in um, newspaper. So I said, just get these out. I thought they would be perfect because we've got um, navy in our kitchen, like navy chairs, like dining chairs and a navy oven. Um, so I thought they'd go really nicely on the bar. So they're just some navy blue wine glasses they're more like gin glasses I suppose because they're massive and these ones are like iridescent kind of like petrol if you know what I mean like that what's that called it's called something if you know what that is let me know that kind of style you know so if you see spilled petrol it's that kind of um color and it's got navy in it and purple and kind of a yellow as well as silver so they're going to look really nice in our bar area up on the shelves with all the glasses. I've got quite a few different glasses and they were, um, I think it was £3 for a lot. I think she said 
um, four pounds for the glasses. And then I just went, mm, ha, mm, I dithered a bit. And then she said, oh, we can have them for three pounds. So I thought that was a good deal. And then, yeah, just the same in there. Oh, cheers. And then um, the other one is here. I'll just get them all out anyway, because they've got to be washed. And then I'm going to put them straight onto the um, onto the like bar area on the shelves. Love those. I think these are my favourite, actually. I think these ones are just gorgeous. So yeah, I love them. I love you. I do. I love you. Okay, I'll put you all over there. I'll be careful with them. Um, also, you might have seen if you watch the vlog from that day. I'll link it below in case you didn't. Louise was with, we went to the indoor car boot sale, me, Louise and her son Declan. And we each bought one of these gnome costumes. So we did show this in the vlog then. And they were a pound each. They said two pounds on them, but the man let us have them for a pound. Um, and we were going to wear them this weekend, but I think they might be too small. I haven't tried mine on yet. Um, so we might try and get, I don't know, they might, it might fit. Even if we just wear the hat, we can wear the hat, can't we? Um, but if it does fit, we will wear them this weekend. I think Louise is a bit tight, so probably that's going to be tight because it's a size small as well. Where does it say? It says it somewhere. There we go, size small. So I've been better off with a medium. But we've just got a small. I thought for a pound we would risk it. So hopefully that will fit. Um, I've also got a lovely blanket here to show you. Um, so as you probably know, if you watch my videos, we're getting married next year, me and Lee, in our garden. And I've been collecting stuff uh, for the last few months, so since the summer. And I need a few white blankets. So I've got quite a few. And then when I saw this one, I thought well, that's going to be perfect. So obviously... Um, it's going to be nice and warm in the summer, but it gets chilly in the evening. So we're getting married in July. And then I want like a big um, suitcase, which I've already got full of lovely white blankets. You can just, you know, snuggle up if you're a little bit cold in the evening, the evening of the wedding. Um, this one was 50p. It's just a really nice, um, simple blanket or throw. It needs a good old, oh no, I've just put lipstick on it. What a wally. I've just put lipstick on it, but I'm sure that will come off. I'm sure it'll come off. Um, I'll wash that as soon as I finish. So it does need a wash. It's a little bit grubby, but I'm sure once washed and I've got rid of the lipstick, that'll just be rolled up in a ball and someone can use that to keep cosy. And I've just had a good look at this. I thought this was a blanket. It's actually a rug or a mat for the floor, um, which I didn't realise. So I'm going to use this as a bath mat, maybe a rug somewhere. So that's quite nice, isn't it? Probably better than a blanket. It just needs to um, you stick it in the wash and get rid of that lipstick. But yeah, just in case uh, you thought it was a blanket like me, it's actually some kind of a rug or bath mat. Hello, Bessie. Bessie's here. Rufus is outside. He didn't want to be in this video today, so we just got the Bestie cat. Hello, Bestie. Okay. Um, oh, that's good. These have got the prices on them. There was a lovely lady who was selling um, stuff at the indoor car boot sale called Tracy. So hello, Tracy, if you're watching. Um, we I, we bought quite a lot from her. Louise bought a lovely dress, a Zara dress for a pound, and I found loads of bargains, which I'm pretty sure I know. These have got the prices on, which is good. There's a jumper I bought, but I think that was a pound. Um, so hi, Tracy, if you're watching. Um, I got these, some tights, and they are, I think they're kind of a purpley colour, and I think they're little. Is Mara by, oh, Heidi Plum. I didn't see that. They're a large size, but with tights, I find... I find them quite tight and um, so I like to buy large sizes so I'm sure these are going to be fine they look nice and cozy and I think they're purple I'm pretty sure it just says high quality tights made with 3d technology and they were a pound um, and also from Tracy I bought this Lecura which again I think is little isn't it um, Lecura refining and mattifying pink clay exfoliating face scrub and that was 25p and this is a dupe of something isn't it i'm not sure what if you know what dupe this is um let me know i'd like to know if that's okay if you remember and i don't think that's been used 100 milliliters in there doesn't even look like it's been squeezed um so yeah that was 25p and i bought some of this um which you probably know i think this is really quite popular isn't it Auntie Sue, my Auntie Sue who lives in Australia, hello Auntie Sue if you're watching, she had some of this and she said it was brilliant. I think she had a small lip gloss or maybe she had this hand, was this a hand cream? Oh no, for lips, cheeks and cosmetic finishing with a hint of a tint. So Dr. Pawpaw, hot pink balm, 
multi-purpose soothing balm with natural pore pore. She said this was brilliant. Um, so I have been looking out for it, but I think it's quite expensive. And I paid a pound for that. So I got that from Tracy um, and that looks really nice. It says on the bottom, cruelty free and vegan. So let me know if you're a fan of these pore pore products. Um, yeah, but it does look really good. And I also bought from Tracy, I can't remember how much it was. Could have been 20p this big fluffy red scrunchy um as you can probably see it's in like perfect condition and i think it was 20p i can't really remember and what i normally do is when i blow dry my hair oh i keep being asked about my hair lately i just used any shampoo and conditioner and um, that we have so normally it's something i found in poundland or um i think there's a tresemme one that we're using so i don't do anything spectacular with my hair i just literally shampoo conditioner it conditioner shampoo and condition it and then i am um, just straighten the ends so i literally just straighten it because my hair is quite straight anyway so that is all i do in case you were wondering and um, but when i blow dry my hair sometimes if i have time um upside down and then i put like a scrunchie in this bit and 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 then i keep my hair like this while i do my makeup if you can see that so um it kind of gives you a bit of volume if that makes sense i don't know if anyone else does this i walk around looking terrible i think i look a little bit do i look a little bit like the queen when she was younger or is that a weird thing to say i don't know if someone said that to me before or i feel like this is a queen hairstyle or maybe it's not but anyway so i do this for a bit and then i blow dry it again upside down and then i put it back in again like that and then it gives me a bit of volume and then once i've done all my makeup i take my hair down and normally it feels quite nice and quite voluminized so i think that was 20p um and if you have any tips on how to get more volume in your hair anything like that just write them in the comments because it's quite interesting we all need well i need some extra volume anyway um also from tracy i got a couple of clothes louise got that lovely dress and i found some little vests and these are both brand new i think pretty sure they're brand new so this is a little white vest oh, i can't i think that was 50p i can't remember we were in it like chatting to Tracy and I got all all distracted but I think of 50p and I find um little vests so handy I wear them under everything I've always got a little vest on um so yeah there's a white one from New Look and this one yeah it's from Primark it's a lovely teal colour and yeah I reckon that was 50p Tracy if I'm wrong on any of these prices can you um correct me in the comments because I can't remember or if Louise is watching can you comment as well and then I bought a present for my uncle Billy who lives in Liverpool doesn't actually live in Liverpool he lives on the outskirts they live near Southport um so I didn't realize that it wasn't actually Liverpool um so I bought this for him because he supports Liverpool he is from Liverpool they're from Anfield originally that's where my mum's from um and this was I'm pretty sure it was a pound it is a Christmas jumper and it says Merry Clopmas on it. it does say that doesn't it because he's Jürgen Klopman isn't he so that says Merry Klopmas and um, there's just some Christmassy detail on there and it's quite large it's extra large but it looks it's really big so I think that is going to fit um my uncle Billy so I'm going to post that up to Liverpool as a little present because he loves um he loves football and he supports Liverpool so hopefully he's going to love that I'm sure he will and uh, Louise nearly bought that for Andy, her husband, but she didn't. So I was like, right, I'm having it for Uncle Billy. And I also bought this mug. It's got a K on it, obviously. I don't know where it's from, but I like the design. The little sort of black and white squiggles around the letter K. I think that was 50p. I can't remember. It was just in my bag. And I was like, oh, I don't even remember that mug. Um, and it's just got the same on the back, but with um, the details on the inside. Whereas that's just a plain K. That's nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, don't know where it's from. So if you know where that is from, write it in the comments and let me know. So another mug of the day. Um, I've got a couple of bags to show you, some amazing bags. And one of them, Louise could have had. She picked it up first, but she let me have it. She totally didn't have to. So I'll show you that in a second. Um, I also bought this for a pound. Oh, no, it was echoey. If I get some nice tall flowers, I can put them in here and use it. And then I'll definitely um have it out somewhere for the wedding um on display somewhere so a pound for that and it's quite a large one i've got a few kind of medium sized jugs but that's a really large like metal one so i like that I'll just put that over there away from the glasses um okay inside this bag which i'll show you in a second i've got a few things i spotted this 
um, on a table and I think the lady said two pounds. Um, it's a plant holder. So it's got metal on the outside, so little metal leaves and then a glass bowl on the inside, quite a thick glass bowl as well. So it's not like a thin one on this um, quite heavy duty string. And I think the girl said two quid. And then I went, hmm, ah, you know, the little like dithering thing. And then I said, would you take a pound? And she said, yes. And I think I'm going to put this in our ensuite bathroom because I did have a plant hanging down, but the, the rope is broken. It looks quite nice just on the sink. So I might put that, hang that up, put a plant in there and hang it up. Um, I think Mr. Carrington would like that, but I'm sure he's got loads of things like that. So that'll probably go um, in my bathroom. And then I bought Rufus, I didn't really buy Rufus a present, but um, it's for Rufus, one of these dog brushes. So Rufus is really hairy. Um, so uh, or his hair kind of goes everywhere. He molts quite badly. So I think if I take him outside and give him a little brush um, to get rid of some of his um, hair, then that'll be quite good. His fur, sorry. And then I think dogs quite like it, don't they? Because it gives him a little massage. He loves, he does like a little brush of his coat. And that was a pound. The make is Anne Cole, and it says Ergo Grooming Range, chosen by professional groomers. And it's a little like wooden, um, yeah, wooden brush. And I've got two more things to show you, and I think they could be probably my favourites from this haul. I love the glasses, um, and the other thing was I found, but I really, really love these next two things. So this is a beach bag, um, and I saw it on the floor, and I wasn't sure if it was for sale, because it's kind of hidden underneath the table. And it's like a straw, not straw, isn't it? Yeah, like strawy, wickery bag with these black pom-poms on. And it just says Sahara Sands pom-pom bag. So let me know where that is from. It probably is either Home Bargains or B&M. Um, and I think that's really nice. So that'd be good for when we go to Thailand or summer holidays. Or I could do that thing where you put the insides in and then you put a plant inside it, which might look quite nice as well seen quite a lot of those um on instagram and various different like websites where i'm looking for housey things and i think i paid two pounds for this this is another one where i'm slightly unsure because we were chatting but i think the lady wanted three quid and then i said would you take two um so i'm pretty sure that was two pounds it wasn't any more than that i know that for a fact but it was either one or two but i'm gonna say two just to be safe um, for that lovely brand new beach bag. My final thing that I'm going to show you, I spied it on the table at the corner of my eye and in my head I thought, oh, that's going to be expensive. Um, and it was the same table that I bought this. And that was, um, I think she, yeah, she asked for £2 and I offered a pound. And Louise, I saw it and then Louise picked it up and Louise said, oh, how much is this? And the lady said £2. I thought, wow, that's such a good buy and she said Kate you've got to have this and I was like no you can have it she's like no no you have to have it I was like are you sure um and she said yeah she was sure and I was like I tried to give it back to her I was like Louise honestly you saw it first you picked it up it's rightfully yours and she said no I want you to have it so this amazing Kath Kidston shopping bag was only two pounds and I think it's just lovely. I've not seen this print, I don't think, with the little ice and all these nice creams on it. But that could have been Louise's. I wouldn't have been annoyed at all at all because she picked it up first, but she definitely wanted me to have it. Um, <laughs> and then later on, she was like, oh, I should have kept it. I was like, you can still have it. But she said, no, I've given it to you now. Um, so that's what you call a true friend, isn't it? But she, yeah, she totally could have had this. I think that's the rules. The first person to touch something gets to keep it. That's the only tough part when you go like charity shop shopping or to car boot sales with friends because there's normally only one thing. Um, but I suppose if you both see it at the same time, you can just do um, you can just do a little rock, paper, scissors, can't you? I remember me and my dad's wife saw a few things and we did a little trade at the end of the car, but I wanted, it was a plant pot, a lovely blue plant pot. And um, she got the dress that we both liked and I got the plant pot. So Louise, you could have had that, but now it is mine. And I, I really love it. And it's quite a big um, shopping bag as well. So it's not one of the tote bags. It's a slightly larger size. I don't know if it is called tote, but it opens up quite a lot. Um, it's not like a tiny bag and there's a little pouch on the inside. So I love that. And the fact um, it was two pounds as well, I think is brilliant. So a really good um, car boot sale haul because the indoor car boot sale is only small. There's only about maybe like 10 or 12 stalls. So you never know. But for some reason, I always find things um, 
it always has lots of treasure. So that is everything in this car boot sale haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favourite item was. Um, was it the jug, the pom-pom bag, the Kath Kidston bag or the planter? Or it could have been the glasses. Or maybe it was the um, Klopmus, Jürgen Klopman. That's not even his name, is it? Jürgen I think it is Klopman. Um, it could have been that jumper if you support Liverpool. I don't know. So yeah, let me know your favourite um, favorite item in this haul in the comments below. And what else? Oh yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, then please do. And I will speak to you on Monday with my weekend vlog. So you'll find out what we got up to and I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. And then next week, I've got a slow cooker video for Wednesday. So I've been doing some different recipes with a slow cooker and making some meals and people wanted to see that. So thank you for commenting on my vlog saying, yes, you wanted to see that video. So that's the next few videos coming up. The weekend vlog for Monday. It might be late the weekend vlog because we're traveling back on the Monday. So hopefully it'll be here between six and 8 p.m. But if it is late, I'll let you know, but just in case. So that's for Monday then the slow cooker video for Wednesday and then Friday at Home Bargains Hall. In the meantime, come say hello on Instagram. I'm Kate McCabe and my house account is Kate's Homely Home and they'll be linked in the description along with um, a couple of vlogs and different things in case you want to catch up on any videos. I'll link the last few in the description just down there. So thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Um, happy birthday once again to me. Happy birthday to me. I am 40. And goodbye from Bessie Cat. That doesn't look very comfortable. Bestie! You don't look that comfortable, Bestie Cat, but I guess you are. Oh, look at that. I love when you stroke a cat and they lift their little back like that. Ooh, boom! Oh, Bestie Cat, that looks more comfy. Go on, get a snuggly. Go on, get a snuggly. Snuggly! Okay. Bestie, uh, looks all cosy. That's better, isn't it? That's more comfortable. Okay, I'll speak to you soon. Bye!